first graders, it's Miss Montrilli. Happy Friday, April 17th, 2020. I hope you had a really good week at home and you got to do a lot of fun stuff. Hopefully it's gonna warm up a little bit because it is freezing and snowy, yuck. Um, I wanna share with you a couple things that your classmates have been doing and maybe some things that your family sent me that you can see on the big screen now. <clears throat> if you'd like to see, um, your work on our lessons, you can have your mom or dad send me a picture of what you've been doing for a quick update to your classmates. So, first, Trent has been working so hard on his writing assignment. Yesterday, he wrote, I would rather live in the forest because I like to play in the stream and I like to pick up sticks. Look at that beautiful penmanship. Great job, Trent. He's also been walking his dog, riding bikes, and helping to build a deck. Great job, Trent. Send us a picture of that deck. Slate has um, been working so hard on our math challenge packet. Great job, Slate. His mom said he zipped through this in no time. And yesterday he told us, I would rather live in the North Pole because there is more fish to eat and I want to see the northern lights. Ooh, such a good idea, Slate. I'd like to see those too. Our friend Tyler has been working so hard, but it looks like her kitty cat wants some attention instead of homework. So great job, Tyler. Love, oh, love seeing all of our readers and our work book pages in front of her. Alana, of course, was on a great vacation. But since she's been back, she's been building a bike rack, jumping on the trampoline, and riding the side-by-side -side with her brother. That looks like a beautiful place to be. Lucas has been playing outside, and he can't wait for warmer weather. I hear you, Lucas. Me too. And here's his beautiful picture of his garden. Love that, Lucas. This is Angelisa's garden that she sent to me, and it looks like she painted it. That looks so neat. Emily sent me this beautiful picture of her monkey. Remember when we did that directed drawing two weeks ago? I love this monkey, it looks so good. And in my house, Adeline has started eating real food, not just milk from a bottle, and she loves it. Playing with a spoon is her favorite thing now. So that's what's been happening with your classmates and me, and I wanted to share all that great stuff with you guys. If you want me to share some of the activities that you're doing, you can ask your family to send me a picture and I'll put them on our board so everyone can see them because I know that all of our classmates miss each other and wish they could hang out with their friends. And this is probably the next best thing. So today we're not going to read a new story. We are going to think about all the animals that we've talked about in the Great Fern Zoo so far, the Green Fern Zoo so far. And um, you're going to choose your favorite animal that we've learned about um, since yesterday's chapter about things with wings. I wanted to remind you of some of the animals. And now that you have your reader, you could go back and read those stories to remind yourself which animal you like the best. You didn't always have the reader. I've just been reading it to you. So now that you have it, you can go back and, and look at those details again. I'm gonna remind you of all the animals that we've talked about so far. One is the trout. This was our very first chapter. The reef shark. Chimps, love that picture. The mandrill. And we talked about the fish, the finch and the puffin. So your sentence stem is, let's make sure you can see that. The animal I liked learning about the most is the blank because, and I write, want you to write two things that you liked learning about, about that animal. Can you do more than two? You can always do more, but you can't do less. So you can choose any of the animals that we talked about so far. Don't look ahead yet, because I still want to read the rest of those stories to you. But for today, I want you to, in your composition notebook, answer this question. The animal I liked learning about the most is the blank because, and then you're going to give me two reasons, only two. If you can think of three reasons or five reasons, 
definitely do that. And again, I'd love to see your artwork and your writing. I know you're using a capital in the very beginning of a sentence and the end, an ending mark at the end of the sentence. So now would be a good time to pause my video so that you can work on that writing assignment for today. The next thing we're gonna do is just listen to a story. I like it when we take it a little easy on Friday. So I thought you'd like to listen to another Julia cookbook. <laughs> Julia cookbook. And this one's called Soda Pop Head. I don't think we've read this in our classroom yet, but you're gonna really like it. Soda Pop Head by Julia Cook. My name is Lester, but everyone calls me Soda Pop Head. Most of the time, I'm pretty happy, but sometimes when things aren't fair, my ears get hot, my face turns red, and I turn into a soda pop head. Sometimes I even blow my bottle cap. Uh-oh. Look how happy all his friends are. He's mad. Yesterday, Ruby Jean cut right in front of me when we were lining up for lunch. I asked her nicely to move. She said no. I told her to move. She said no. Then I told my teacher and she got mad at me for having tattle tongue. It's not fair. I could feel my ears starting to get hot. And then Ruby Jean and the rest of the kids started singing that song. The Soda Pop Head song. Ooh -ooh. There goes Lester. Watch him fester. His ears start to fizz. He gets mad as a grizz. His face turns red, he's a soda pop head. You just never know when Lester will blow. His cap will go flying. If it hits you, you'll be crying. So you better stay away from Lester today. Now that I'm singing this song, I do think we've read this in our classroom. Before I could stop it, my cap went flying off my head and just about hit Ruby Jean in the kneecap. I got sent to the principal's office for blowing my bottle cap again. It's not fair. Ooh, it doesn't sound like he's taking responsibility for his actions. After lunch, my teacher told me I was getting a zero for my social studies report on the Great Pyramids because I hadn't turned it in on time. But I did turn it in. I put it in the basket yesterday. I never got it. So you will have to redo it and turn it in as late work, she said. But that report took me forever to do. It's not fair. My ears started to get hot. And then Ruby Jean and the rest of the kids started to sing the soda pop song, head song again. Oh no, look at all those kids looking at him. There goes Lester, watch him fester. His ears start to fizz. He gets mad as a grizz, his head face turns red, he's a soda pop head. I was just about to blow my bottle cap when I heard my teacher say, Oh, here it is, Lester. I found it in the math basket. My mistake. I'm sorry. I took a deep breath and my soda pop head went away. Ooh, look, he even got a B plus. Good job, Lester. When I got home from school, my little sister Regina was playing my new video game. She had gone into my room and taken it without my permission. When I asked her nicely to give it back, she hit me. I hit her back just as my mom came into the room. Lester, never ever hit your sister. But she started it. She took my video game without asking. And now I'm going to finish it. Lester, go to your room now. It's not fair. I could feel my ears starting to get hot. And then Regina started to sing the soda pop head game song. Sorry. She must have heard it at school. Oh, Regina. There goes Lester. Watch him fester. His ears start to fizz. He gets mad as a grizz. His face turns red. He's a soda pop head. You just never know when Lester will blow. His cap will go flying. If it hits you, you'll be crying. So you better stay away from Lester today. My bottle cap flew off my head and just about hit Regina's big toe. Then I went to my room and slammed my door shut. Geez, I wouldn't 
might want to play with Lester. When my dad got home from work, he came into my room and sat down on my bed. Lester, he said, we need to talk. Your mom told me you hit Regina. She also said that she got a call from your principal saying you lost your temper at school today. It's not fair. Regina took my video game without asking and Ruby Jean cut right in front of me when we were lining up for lunch. Lester, you need to realize that life is not fair. Sometimes things are going to happen to you that will make you angry. It's what you choose to do with your anger that makes the difference. You are a soda pop head and you need to learn to control your fizz. When your ears get hot, that's your first clue that you are starting to get angry. When this happens, you need to learn to loosen your bottle cap before the pressure inside of you builds up. How do I do that? I asked. Well, there are a lot of different things you can try. You can take five deep breaths and clear your head. You can walk away from the situation and find a quiet place to sit down and relax your muscles. If you are in your classroom, try sitting at your seat and do the push, pull, dangle. What is that? I asked. Push down hard on the seat of your chair while you count to 10. Pull up on hard on the seat of your chair while you count to 10. Then dangle your arms and feel all the stress leave your body. If you are at home, go into your room, close the door and play your music really loud. If you feel really angry, try punching your pillow a few times. You need to work on getting to bed on time at night. It is really hard to control your fizz if you are tired. You also need to make sure you are eating healthy food. It's harder to control your fizz if your body doesn't feel good on the inside. Whatever you do, don't twist your bottle cap on so tightly that you can't loosen it. If you do that, your anger will get stuck inside of you. Then it will build up, and if it can't come out through your cap, it will end up making you feel sick. That night, I went to bed and thought about everything my dad had told me. What he said made a lot of sense. Today at school, I controlled my fizz. Ruby Jean took my new pencil, and when she wouldn't give it back to me, I did the push, pull, dangle at my seat. My teacher was proud of me because I didn't blow my bottle cap at Ruby Jean. She gave me a thumbs up and then she made Ruby Jean give me my pencil back. Ooh, that's a nice mechanical pencil. I'd be mad if someone took that from me. When I got home, Regina was playing my video game again without asking. I looked at her, took five deep breaths, went into my room and punched my pillow three times. When I came back out, I felt a lot better. My mom smiled at me for not blowing my bottle cap, and then she made Regina apologize and ask for permission to play my video game. Later, when my dad got home from work, I told him about my day. How did you know how to help me with this, Dad? I asked. Well, Lester, let's just say I know exactly what you are going through. Oh my goodness, he's a soda pop head too. I am still a soda pop head and the kids at my school still sing that song, but now they've changed the words. There goes Lester, watch him faster. His ears start to fizz, he gets mad as a grizz, his face turns red, he's a soda pop head. He used to blow his cap, but now he doesn't do that. He's in control, so now we all know that it's okay to play with Lester today. <gasps> Look how much happier he is and how much happier his friends are. Ooh, such a great book. Thanks, Julia Cook. So I'm gonna send you two links. One is for a little yoga practice so you can wiggle your bodies around when you're at home. And the other one is for a virtual field trip. Since we can't be together, you can check out um, another field trip um, on your computer. So I hope you have a really good weekend. I'm thinking of you and on Monday at school, all the teachers are gonna have a little parade. We're gonna stand outside um, at the bus loop 
and your parents can drive by, pick up your supplies, and wave to your teachers um, so that you can get a chance to see us because we really miss you guys. I hope you have a really good night, and I'll see you later. Bye.